Hi there. Welcome to IELTS Tutors. In this video, we'll learn how to work out volume of peasants. After watching this video, you will be able to work out the volume of peasants. To work out the volume of cubes and cuboids, we use a simple formula, which is length times width times height. Uh, in case of prisms, other than cubes and keyboards, we use the formula area of cross section times length. Right, some of the key terms which you may use in this video are volume, 3D shapes, or solid shapes, cubes, cuboids, cross section, area of cross section, prisms, triangular prisms, L shaped prism, or that can be any sort of prism. Let's start from question number one. It says the diagram shows a cube of dimensions three centimeters by three centimeters by three centimeters. Work out the volume of the cube, state the units with your answer. Right, so as we know that in case of cubes and keyboards, we use the formula of volume is equal to length times width times height. And cubes have all of these three lengths being exactly the same. Like in this case, it's length, width, and height, all of them are just three. So I will just do three times by three times by three, which will be three times three is nine, and nine times three is 27. So the answer is 27, but what would be the unit? What should be the unit for centimeter times by centimeter times by centimeter? If anything is multiplied by itself three times, that should be that thing cubed. So the answer should be 27 centimeter cubed. Let's move to question number two. So the diagram shows a cube of dimensions five centimeters by five centimeters by five centimeters. Work out the volume of a cube. State the units with, with your answer. And so we need to write length times width times height. Five times five is 25 and 25 times five is 125. The answer should be 125. Uh, again, uh, the unit is going to be cubed, centimeter cubed. And you must remember this. Volume is always unit cubed. Right, moving to question number three. I can see that there's a cuboid, which is 10 long, 10 centimeters long, 4 centimeters wide, and 6 centimeters high. Right, so volume will be equal to 10 times by four times by six, and 10 times four is 40, and 40 times by six is going to be 240. This time unit is given already. Moving to question number four, it says work out the volume of the triangular prism, state the units with your answer. Right, so this time here, it, like it's not a cube or keyboard, so shape is a difference, it's a triangular prism. So in case of a triangular prism, what we need to do is we need to work out the area of the cross section, this, this space here, okay? And we also need to multiply that thing by this length here. Right, so let's first work out what's the area of the cross section. Why and, and like why do I think that this is a cross section? This triangle is a cross section because this is a face which goes all the way through from one side to the other. And I can see that there is a triangle on either end of the shape. Right, so to work on the area of this triangle, for any triangle, we know that the formula is base times height divided by two. Right, so what's the base of this triangle? Eight, eight times six divided by two, and that would be 24 meters squared. And how long is the shape? 10 meters. So formula is written there on the screen already. So what I can do is I can just write the area of cross section. Cross section is this triangle. So 24 meters squared times by length. Length is 10 meters. And 24 times the 10 is 240. And never forget the unit will be cubed. So meters cubed. The final answer is 240 meters cubed. 
Right, moving to question number six, it says the volume of the cube is 343 centimeters cubed. Work out the value of x. Right, as we know that the volume is equal to length times width times height. And in case of a cube, length, width, and, and height are always the same. So that's why the volume of this cube will be x times x times x, and that will equal 343. So basically, x cubed will be equal to 343. Keep rooting both sides will give me x equals 7, as 7 times 7 is 49, and 49 times 7 is 343. Let's move to question number eight. It says, work on the volume of the L-shaped prism. And I can see like this is, uh, this is a prism other than cube or cuboid. In, in any prism, which is not a cube or cuboid, we can't use the formula length times width times height. We have to use the formula volume is equal to area of cross section times by length. Right, so basically I need to work out the area of the front face, this L shape basically. So for this one, I have to split this into two parts. Let me draw a line from here to here. So I can see that the two, this L shape can be divided into two rectangles. And to work out the area of the, this vertical rectangle, is two meters wide and four meters long, as four meters high. So four times two is eight meters squared. Work out the area of the, the rectangle, which is horizontal. I'm not gonna use this, uh, the length, which is seven. I'm gonna use just only the, this length, which is five. So because I've split this L shape into two shapes, five meters down, but one meter will give me five meters squared. So, Altogether, the area of, of the whole shape is basically 13. So the area of the cross section is 13 meters squared. And I know that this is 10 meters long. So its length is 10 meters. So 13 times the 10 will give me 130 meters cubed. That's my final answer. Let's move to the next question. It says the volume of the cuboid is 96 centimeter cubed. Work of the length of its missing sign. Right, as we know that this is a cuboid, and in case of a cuboid or cube, we use the formula length times width times height, basically eight times three times x, and that gives me 96. Basically, 8 times 3 is 24. 24x is equal to 96. And I can divide both sides by 24. And 24, 96 divided by 24 will give me 4. So my answer is 4 meters. Right, moving to the next question. It says the volume of the triangular prism given below is 300 meters cubed. Where could the length of its missing sign? Right, so we know that in case of any any prism other than cube and keyboard, we always work out the area of the cross section and then times it by length. So area of cross section times by length, and that gives me volume. Okay, right. So in this case here, I know that length is 10, volume is 300. How can I work out the area of the cross section? Right, so we know that to work out the area of a triangle, we, we know that this base times height divided by two. And base is x times by 12 divided by two. So basically x times 12 will be 12x divided by two will be 6x. So the area of this triangle is 6x meters squared, not cubed, as area is always meters squared. What we need to do is we just need to write, we just need to write a 
is 10 meters, this is 10 meters feet, and this one is times by the area of cross section is 6x meters squared. I know that meters square and meters will become meters feet, and 6x times by 10 will become 60x, and on this side I've got 300 meters feet. Right, so divided both sides by 60 meters cute will give me x equals 5 meters. I hope you find this video useful. See you again with my next video.